So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on there, and then we're gonna um, run marks across it. When we're running marks across it, we're also gonna season it um, quite nicely with salt and pepper, and of course the oil. It's gonna get nicer. Oh, this one's blunt. Mom, you know? Yeah, the small. The little black. Yeah. Not this one. This one's blunt. I don't mind using. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. We feel the bone. You want to do this till you feel the bone across it. You don't want to do it all the way because you're going to be cutting the bone yep. and damaging the fish. You just want to do it till you feel the bone. Okay, so during there, we're going to put the carrots, the onions, the spring onions, um, and the salt in there. The same before those marks. Um, I'm also going to flavor it up with some scotch bonnet afterwards. But first, we're going to just um, put in some vinegar to leave for a while. So same Wine and vinegar. Well, one vinegar kills it and two um, kills the bacteria in it. And two, vinegar just adds like a, a depth of flavour really. Um, I quite like vinegar. Because um, when you think of when you put vinegar on the fish and carrots, it's actually a bit of Jamaican thing to put vinegar with the fish and the carrots and the onions. And you know, it's quite delicious when you do it. Like it's like the rind is you know, yeah. So it sounds like you've got a Jamaican influence when you cook them. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> Just to refill the bone again. And four on this side as well. adds um, quite a lot. Ginger boosts up the flavour of um, almost everything. Almost everything ginger boosts up the flavour. Um, ginger is used in um, quite a lot of Chinese food, Caribbean food, and yeah, it's mostly used in the tropicals and, you know, all those places. I like to skin my ginger. Some people leave the skin on, but I like to skin it. So, the ginger is away. Then we're going to chop the ginger into little pieces like that. Just like so. Just like so. So now, once we do that, we're going to get our thyme and then hopefully we're going to turn this um, fish over and let the next side soak up all this vinegar as well because the vinegar actually cooks it as well the vinegar really? yeah the vinegar actually cooks the fish a bit as well because um you know i'm not sure if you've made it but you know when you make those um smoked salmon yeah, so like salmon, yeah. Um, if you leave it in vinegar, um, things like vinegar and lemon, um, and actually sugar as well, it actually cooks, um, cooks it a bit. Um, I learned that from Harry Vitus. <laughs> yeah. So you watch all the thick cookery shows? Then? Yeah, I, I watch all of them, all of them, all of them. I just quite like cookery shows. Um, so why do you have to watch the time? Um, it recommends you do so, I think. Yeah, might be a bit of leftover dirt behind it. So. Mm -hmm. 
horse at that time. Yeah, she was quite strong. So, garlic? Um, yeah, why don't you to crush the, um, by crushing the garlic I just um, get my knife and I just pat it down like so, one by one. Just like so. Then it releases some of the, the things and that's, that way you can take off the pill with um, no fuss or like, you know, go again, same garlic. Just like so, take off the pill, no fuss, third piece of garlic. Quite a lot of garlic goes into this actually. You'd be surprised with how much garlic I want to put into this. But the thing is, garlic um, tastes really good with fish. I quite enjoy garlic with, when it's with fish. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a good combination. Yeah, garlic and fish. It's just mm -hmm. like um, if you put strawberries and cream. Yeah. Good combination. Got you some rosemary, so where did I put them? There we go. Okay. Turn the garlic. The last garlic. Then what we're gonna do? We're just gonna quickly give our garlic a little mint quickly. Now, this is actually a very safe way to cut. Just put your hand on top and then just follow the knife wherever it goes. Both a safe way. Okay, so now we've done our garlic, we've done our, um, we've done our garlic, we've done our onion, we've done our carrots, tomatoes, thyme, spring onions, ginger. We're going to put some rice, we're going to lightly oil it. Put the oil. So if you've got a special interest in cooking rice, you can put some rice We are now gonna just put um, some rosemary and thyme into these places, into where we scored it. What um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give it huge flavour, absolutely huge flavour. So we're just gonna stuff it down where we scored it, and we're also gonna put it into the belly as well. So just like so, just like so, some thyme as well. And you want to put lots of it, lots of it, because this is... Oh, the time passed on the, on the chicken. Oh, did it say 1 to 5, but you should turn it off? Yep. Sorry. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. It's fine. It needs a bit more. It's not chicken, right? Duck. <laughs> I know what you meant. I know what you meant, I knew what you meant. That's our legs, that's our thick chicken. <laughs> Rosemary, again with this time. Now into each one, I'm just going to do that, then inside now we're going to stuff it, we're going to put our rosemary in, our thyme in as well. Now what we're going to do now is we're just going to fry it, then when we fry it we're going to take it out, then we're going to put it in our vegetables. But basically a bit like, um, a bit like we're half baking it basically, because um, you want to just get all those flavours in and Sort of side the air right now. So where does this recipe come from? Pardon? Where, where does this recipe come from? I'm probably saying a bit of Jamaican really. Because uh -huh. um, we've got the thyme. This is actually quite similar to what Jamaicans call scabish fish. 
And um, how yeah. do you pronounce that? Scobish. Scobish. Yeah, it's basically um, it's basically fried fish, and then you put some Scotch bonnet in it, and um, you put carrots, you put onions, and most of the stuff I'm putting in this basically. There's only one to test with the cheese. Okay, so I'm So now we'll take out our rosemary and thyme. And actually, we could do is um, maybe there when it's like five minutes away, when it's in the oven, like two minutes or a minute away, we could actually put the rosemary back in. So then the rosemary will sort of pump it up, really. So um, we're going to take, we're gonna throw that, we're not going to throw all this beautiful rosemary and thyme flavour away. This is pure gold, pure gold. Um, and fish and I. I'm not going to throw it all away. Like this way. So I'm going to turn off the stove. I'm going to put some carrots in. I'm going to put in our carrots. And then around the top. So I'm going to put in some of our green onions, or carrots, or tomatoes, or ginger, or... Yeah, can you? Yeah, can you? I put it in the oven before. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So, uh, 